Hey guys, I got myself here, and today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 2 to register developers. No public beta testing as of yet. Funny because earlier today I posted a video uh, predicting that iOS 11 uh, Beta 2 would be released on the 26th because it's not usual for Apple to release on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. But nonetheless, it's happened before and it's happened today. So welcome addition here, iOS 11 uh, Beta 2, which is running on this device on the right, which is the gold iPhone 7 Plus. It's a fresh download. It was two gigs from an update. It's going to be around 600 megabytes and there's uh, quite a few differences. So in this video, I'm going to show you those. So let's begin. So as I mentioned, iOS 11 beta 2 is on the right for the gold color iPhone, a beta 1 on the red. Let me go ahead and show you the latest build number for the version of iOS 11, 15A5304i. And that is the current build number for the OS. Let me go ahead and start with control center. Right here, the flashlight, when you activate it, you see here it turns yellow. Yellow. over here it turns black just a minor UI change the same thing applies to the low power mode used to turn yellow now it just stays black and then it goes back to the white now one thing I did want to point out about the low power mode is that it gave me a prompt the first time I activated it and it tells me you know what's going to be slowed down in order to preserve that battery so you can better understand low power mode here on iOS 11 beta 2. Now one new feature that's been enabled is the do not disturb while driving. I couldn't enable that on beta 1. On beta 2 I can enable it right there from control center and I'll get to the settings because there's new settings for it as well but a very useful option. I like it a lot and we'll go over the settings in a few minutes. Right here you can no longer set uh, stopwatch, timers, you know, things like that, create alarms. I don't know why Apple disabled that here on the control center on the second beta. Now let's go ahead and jump into settings and show you uh, some key differences right here in the control center. You see right away a different panel in iOS 11 beta 2. Right here you have uh, while in application access within application. So the control center, if this is toggled off, will not be activated or will not be able to be invoked if you have this toggle off, if you have it on, then yes, it will work within applications, an option that wasn't there previously. Then you can tap in here and then customize it as we used to do with beta one. So a nice addition to add that option because when you're playing games, sometimes you can activate it. So uh, turning this off will not allow control center to be activated uh, while you're doing other things that may require you to swipe from the bottom. Now here in notifications, I wanted to show you something that was also available in beta one that I didn't get a chance to cover. It is uh, the renaming here of the notification banners and the one that's missing in the center from iOS 10 is no longer there. So you have the temporary and then the persistent. Uh, again, this is in beta one. It's also in beta two, but I didn't get a chance to cover that uh, for you guys. Now let's go ahead and head on over to that do not disturb option. I was talking about all the first top settings here are usual as you might expect for the normal do not disturb but if we scroll all the way down you see new options here for activating do not disturb while driving I'll be using this a lot automatically means that the phone will recognize motion the speed and then it will activate it automatically so when you're driving it's going to automatically activate it when connected to the car's Bluetooth I also use Bluetooth in my vehicles so when this is probably the best option so when it's connected to Bluetooth it's going to automatically recognize that you are driving or you're in your car and it's you know just gonna reply with uh, messages that you can preset and I'll show you that in a few seconds and then you have the manually manually of course being that you enable it yourself and uh, down here you have the auto reply too so favorites you can set favorites uh, recent uh, no one and all contacts so if you tick all contacts it will auto reply whatever you type here so that's that's awesome option to have I'm gonna be using this feature a lot I'm just gonna go with the connect to Bluetooth because I connect to Bluetooth when I'm driving so that uh, people know that I'm driving without me having to reply so awesome option there do not disturb while driving it's now enabled I know a few of you guys will ask about the wallpapers there isn't any new wallpapers in the latest beta just to confirm that I just wanted to make sure you guys because I know you guys always want to know and wallpapers are awesome to get every now and then uh, but nothing new nothing new here in the second beta now something very interesting here in the touch id and passcode 
By default, when I updated to beta 2, the today view was disabled. By default, I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but it was disabled, uh, not allowing me to see my widgets on the, the lock screen. So that option was disabled. Just wanted to point that out. Let me know in the comments if yours was as well. Of course, battery is one of those things that you guys have been complaining, including myself, even though it is a beta. Uh, but it is terrible. It is very, very bad. And uh, I can't really test that yet. I have to have it for at least 48 to 72 hours. I'll do an update video and let you guys know how battery has been impacted with the second beta it's just impossible for me to tell you if it's any better within a few hours of playing around with now it. apple did rename a few things here under the location services and i thought the naming of the particular section here was kind of weird how they did it so frequent location is a service that of course tracks your frequent locations where you go i usually turn that off i don't feel comfortable having that even though the information apple says is encrypted and no one sees it i just Feel more comfortable not having that feature enabled but well, right here significant location that's what they name it now so it doesn't really say what it does i mean yes significant locations yes places of interest you can call it all that but frequent location is a better tag for this section even though it does explain down here exactly what it does i just feel like the naming was kind of weird and not straightforward hopefully they change that again uh, improved maps options has gone from the uh, improved product a section there now another feature from ios 11 beta 1 that i didn't get a chance to cover is the ability to swipe up here on the camera to get all the filters instead of having to tap the filters themselves and it also works with the portrait mode option here you see if i swipe up i can go ahead and look for all the new filters which is oh look at that it's kind of glitchy so you can see there that the phone is going crazy but it is a new option available uh, in beta 1 which is i guess better now in beta 2 as you can see it's not glitching as it looks like here in beta 1 nonetheless it is a new option for portrait mode and uh, for photos another thing i found kind of interesting is the home kit application or the home application was removed from my device in beta 2 i don't know why that was but hey I don't really use it much. I used to use it, but not anymore. The battery widget, a lot of you guys were asking about this a few days ago in one of my videos. Uh, the battery widget is usually enabled when you connect an Apple Watch or any other Bluetooth device. But right now in beta 2, Apple has it available just for the iPhone. So you don't have to connect any Bluetooth device for the widget to appear here in your settings. It is now available there by default. So that's a welcome addition. I know a lot of you guys are gonna like that. I don't know if you noticed, there's a few glitches here on the screen. Like like the calendar isn't really showing the date as it is in beta 1 so I don't know what's going on with that but now let's go into the generals uh, tab here which there's a few things going on here let me go ahead and start by going to the accessibilities tab there's a few things that got renamed like right here the hearing aids the mfi hearing aid instead of just hearing aid there if we scroll all the way to the bottom here under the accessibility shortcuts which you can use to triple click the home button to activate you can now rearrange these you see before you couldn't do that so welcome addition there now i don't know if you've noticed when i tap into something you see here how it says accessibilities it just says back now when i go back then it says a general but when i tap into something and i go to head back in particular sections of the os it just says back instead of just saying you know whatever section i'm going to like right here you see accessibilities back so just something minor but it is a small difference in ios 11 beta 2 if we go into the keyboard section here you'll find a new option here for uh, disabling the one hand keyboard use or disabling or enabling it by default so if you use the keyboard and you tap and hold on the emoji icon you can set it to the left or set it to the right uh, with this new option you can have it set to a particular location at all times or just completely disable that option altogether now a very minor change for the ui here on the keyboard if i tap here on the microphone you'll see the language and then it goes into dictation so do that the language and then it goes into that so over here it doesn't do that it just goes straight to the microphone and it's been a little refined if you ask me as well like it looks like the keyboard's more refined and the microphone is more refined and it's just doing and typing everything i'm saying so just a minor ui change there now a very interesting choice for apple here 
is that you no longer have the edit button in your photos when you go into the view. Right here on the top, we have a details and then edit up here. So now it is up there instead of in the bottom. So right here we used to have details and now we no longer have it. Now, when I first opened the photos, I got this explanation here and I think that's the reason why. Because now Apple explains if you swipe up, you get the details. So no longer needing the details up there. And when you go to edit a photo, then you no longer need that button down there. You just go ahead and uh, edit the photo by simply tapping on the photo and clicking edit at the top, saving, uh, I guess, one step here. Interesting choice there for Apple, and I, I think I like it. If you're playing audio in the background right here on your iPhone in beta 2, take a look here at the platter. See the, the how big the circle is and compared to beta 1, so easier to just kind of control right there all the stuff. I don't know why Siri is activating, but just easier to control your media with larger uh, circles there for the sliders. A very small UI change here on 3D touching on the notes you see right here sketch. It's now a new sketch with the little circle in the pen instead of the little scribble. Now on some of Apple's stock applications like the TV app, I've noticed a change. You see right here the watch now, how it's not filled in with the darker colors. It is completely white and over here is filled in. I see that throughout some of the applications, their default within iOS, the entire operating system. I did run some tests here on the performance. Uh, again, beta two on the right, beta one on the left. You can see here that the performance is starting to come back 3487 to a 35 08 on a single core score the multi-core score 5914 to 5983 so we see the performance is starting to come back for ios 11 and honestly i haven't had ios 11 beta 2 long enough to tell you if there's any difference yet but it looks like the performance is coming up there in terms of numbers and now as i mentioned the battery and all that i'll do a follow-up video if it has improved or follow me on twitter for more information on that i hope you guys enjoy the video on some of the new changes in ios 11 beta 2 it's been a device help and I'll see you real soon. Peace.